a disagreement over dogs turns deadly. Police say a woman pulled out a gun and shot her neighbor. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Sine Simpson. And I'm Doug Evans in for Tom Haynes tonight. It's a shooting that's as baffling as it is heartbreaking. DeKalb police say a 24-year-old woman is dead following an argument with another woman over their dogs. Now, this happened this morning at an apartment complex in Stonecrest, Georgia. And that's where Fox 5's Portia Bruner joins us now. Portia, you just minutes ago learned that the woman was charged with murder? Yes, in fact, just got off the phone with the police spokesman just a minute ago. She tells me that the suspect, 28-year-old Amanda Longmire, has been, in fact, charged with murder. Uh, I can tell you there are a lot of folks out here, witnesses, who said they felt like this was uh, an act of self-defense, but police say the evidence shows otherwise. An argument over, over dogs, and now a young lady is, is gone. Her life is... It's over. Alina Hatcher, just one of many neighbors struggling to comprehend the shooting here at Wesley Stonecrest Apartments Friday morning. She was struck once in the chest. DeKalb Police spokeswoman Shira Campbell says detectives found a 24 year old woman dead when they arrived at the complex off Turner Hill Road just after 8 15. Witnesses told police the victim was arguing with a 28 year old woman as both women walked their dogs in the breezeway of this building. A neighbor who did not want to be on camera told me she saw the 24-year-old lift the 28-year-old by her clothing, throw her down to the ground, and punch her repeatedly. It looks right now that there was an ongoing dispute between the female and a neighbor. Uh, it had something to do with their dogs being aggressive towards one another, and it got to the point where there was a physical altercation between the victim and the 28-year-old suspect. The husband of the woman who police say fired the deadly shot had no comment about what happened, but his father told us the young man called him from work. I got a phone call from my son. I was on the way to work, and he told me, to, uh, to Dad, stop what you're doing. Go to my apartment. Someone tried to come in the house on his wife and the kids, and she had, and she had shot someone. And then you have another young lady who has to live with that for the rest of her life. I, I, I can't imagine.